just want to say a quick thank you to all of these people for supporting me on these platforms. You can support the channel today by becoming either a YouTube channel member or a coffee supporter. The links for both are in the description below. YouTube channel members and coffee supporters get access to videos and other content early. So join today and may the thick be with you all. Ah, oh, that's some good brew. My Lord Vader! I have done as you requested, my lord! I have brought you not one, but two comics to read! I said, bring me another, not two. Now I have to do double the work. <gasps> Forgive me, my lord! Roll the credits. Bam 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 ba bam bam ba bam Hmm I'm getting some serious Samurai Jack vibes from these comics. Vibes I've not felt since but let us not get too far ahead of ourselves. This comic begins in an ancient past where two samurai warriors with elemental powers are transported to a future time. A time of dystopia, crime-ridden cities, and corporations with too much power. Hmm. Reminds me of the Separatists and how my master and I crushed them. Ahem. The two samurai warriors in this story, Kiro and Mishi, I, uh, might be pronouncing that wrong, are separated after a fight with one of the local gangs, and Kiro is rescued by one of the current-day denizens of the city, a woman named Tyler, and through their interactions, we learn more about the Ensar Mega Corporation that rules the city and the horrible things that they do to the people. It kind of reminds me of what we did to those rebels on Coruscant when they spoke out against you using prisoners of war to build your summer home. <laughs> yes, good work crushing their spirits, Commander Dex. Thank you, sir. I would do it again in a heartbeat. But... Back to the matter at hand. This comic is presented in a black and white format, channeling the spirit of Japanese manga and stories like Lone Wolf and Cub. The art can sometimes be simplistic, but it is effective, and it conveys the story it wants to tell. My only complaint is that the hero seems so out of his depth sometimes that things seem to just happen to him rather than him taking action. Perhaps future installments will see a more decisive hero in action. The kind that the Sith personally despise. But it makes for good storytelling, my lord. Silence! As for my recommendation, I say check it out and support indie comic book creators. They are the future of comics, and I will be reviewing more indie comics as we move forward. Nick Gibson and the team of Phoenix Press have opened the door with this comic for an amazing adventure with untapped potential. What they do next depends on you and your support. Now, go forth and read the comic. The link to find it is in the description of this video. But before you go, be sure to leave a like on the video, and a comment as well, and be sure to subscribe to this channel. It is your destiny. 
Bum 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 Disney don't sue me I will not like it and I will pay the consequence says It's a trap A time of dystopia crime ridden cities I forgot where it was <laughs> <laughs>